congratulations and thank you for representing us on the big screen. So much oh, love for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> First of all, let's talk about of all the Hindu gods, why Hanuman? Oh man, to me he's the coolest. Like my dad has a little chain with a little Hanuman emblem on it. You know, I've always been fascinated with that when my grandfather who, you know, was living in Kenya, would come down to London and spend time with us, you know, for a short time, I would drag him into my box room and make him tell me these stories of Hanuman. And um, I was just fascinated with the layers of the mythology, you know. Some of the stories, like the story of the young Hanuman in the forest, reminded me of Icarus in Greek mythology. And I just, I love the idea of Hanuman and his band of Vana, his band of monkeys, like these outsiders kind of coming together to challenge the status quo. Um, I love that. Yeah, I, I think he's awesome. I think it's fascinating you were able to introduce him to this entire world. Um, of course, writer, producer, director on this film. It's been so exciting. But your action sequences were kind of very intense. Uh, definitely mm. had an SRK vibe, I will say. Shah Rukh Khan vibe too in the film. Um, I loved it. <laughs> How did you uh, manage to balance the actor and director part of you? Because I can only imagine that that might be tough since you're directing those action sequences as well. Yeah, I mean, Shah Rukh was a big inspiration, you know. It was a lot of Korean cinema, and then I remember as a kid, I didn't quite understand the film, but I remember the imagery of Shah Rukh in a film called Goila. And um, he was like red-eyed and sweaty, and he had this bloody sword, and I just remember he couldn't talk, and and I was, you know, full of rage and revenge and, and romance, and so that's part of it. But um, yeah, the, it was a big undertaking. You know, I wanted to create a plausible hero. I wanted to create someone that had real trauma, PTSD. I really wanted to not just do a movie that just is punches and kicks all the way through without any real substance. So that was the that was a challenge in making it. And the other thing too, I'm curious to know what inspired you. You made some bold moves in bringing in some of India's pressure, pressurizing issues right now. There's some huge topics, but somehow you were able to multi-layer those through the film. What inspired you to do that? I just think, you know, I, I want to make films that um, push the needle. I want to make films that say something, you know. I, I'm a sort of performer that throws all of myself into a role. So if you're going to take up, for me, this was over a decade's worth of my life. You know, I broke my bones for this. I turned down some of the best projects I'd been waiting a career for to do. I, I was going to make sure I was going to say something with it. And, you know, in a way, this is a love letter to India and and my culture you know from zakir you know hussein indian classical music to the mythology of hanuman and and the, the you know the vibrancy of of the cultures and the dresses and the fireworks of diwali and you could go on and on but at the same time you know i wanted to touch on these issues that you see filling the columns in the newspapers there you know violence against women you know the caste system the the tensions of of politics and religion and, and how religion can be weaponized and politicized and also how it is a beautiful thing and show both sides of this, um, of this coin. Um, and, uh, you know, I think, I, I think it's really a vibrant, you know, actually very hopeful movie uh, about a, a son's admiration and love of his mother at its core, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Dave. Congratulations you. on your directorial debut.